Hey there, I'm Criminal Crunky, <laughs> and this past weekend, I've been trying to get the Rathalos mount, a mount only obtained from defeating Rathalos in his extreme trial, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, I, I thought it was gonna be easy. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that aged well, real well. Are you running? Why are you running? to our skills. I mean, <laughs> since you can't heal, you're gonna have to get rid of almost every skill. Heal? Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, a dash? Useless. 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 A shield? Why would we want to ever use that? That sounds stupid. Rescue and a revive? Ugh, what do you think this is? You got three different abilities. A triangle laser, a laser, and then you got the circle laser! Whoa! And don't forget, you're gonna be spamming the one key almost every five seconds, over and over until you break your finger! Yep, that's how you do it. Just press it as hard as possible. However, the main workaround to dying is we would form a party, be a party finder, and do an unsynced dungeon. What the unsynced dungeon would allow us to do is bring in a bunch of level 90 gear and just one-shot the Rathalos. Except, to get the mount, it doesn't really drop from the event. I mean, unless you get that 0.2% chance, but uh, that's not, uh, that's not happening. That's not happening. So if you talk to the smithy, he'll trade you one. For 50 scales, that that translates to 50 total runs. I have to run this event 50 times. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be a grind. So with my great will to start the event and get my mount, I took a good sip of my iced coffee. <laughs> and I was ready to go. Only to find out that no one does the event. Huh. So, uh, how long do I have to wait for to get people to join my party finder? Well, it was about almost an hour. It took me about a total hour to get a few people in my party, getting about four guys, and one of which was a tank. And I was a healer, but no one wanted to play with me because I was a healer, so I had to run over and switch my class to Reaper. But, uh, but, 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 Crimble, why, why, why don't you have a DPS leveled up? They're actually the best class in the- Shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't, don't talk. Don't talk. Okay, buddy? Like, just, no, no. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Anyways, any, 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 anyways, anyways party was collected and together, we were ready and set off to go. All of us were playing TPSs, and everyone was level 90, except for me. So I mean, technically I was kinda getting care- uh, but basically, uh, I didn't have level 70, uh, 90 gear because, uh, well, you know, I only had level 70 gear. I had to grab Reaper at the last minute, and, and just, uh, I don't know what the class does, let's just start pressing random buttons on the keyboard, right? Right? I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, basically, Reaper, in a nutshell, you got this button right here, yeah, you press this button. Then, uh, you, you, you press that other button, uh, th then you press this, like, circle button, and then, uh, you, you pick one of these two, whichever one you think looks cool. So, like, you got the white one, or, or you got, like, the red and black one, and then after that, you get a choice of three more buttons. Basically, just whichever blue button you like the best, just just press that button, and, and then it, shit dies, right? I mean, that's, that's basically how it works. I mean, that's Reaper for you. After every single run of fighting the Rathlos, you obtain four normal scales and one scale plus. Like I mentioned earlier, we need 50 scales. <laughs> so we're gonna have to run this 50 times. 
per run, we would probably finish it around anywhere from 2 minutes and 50 seconds to low 220s. A couple times we actually came within a minute and 59 seconds, but uh, we, we, we actually got lucky there. So that, yeah, I mean, it was give or take, right? Like, you know, there's a chance of getting that. But there's also a very, very rare chance that a chest will appear. In the chest, you can get a poogie or a rathalos whistle. And, and there's a scroll too, but like... Nobody cares about your music, Square Enix. Uh, so, yeah, uh... And boy, oh boy, did we get a lot of chests. <laughs> Every chest, I got so excited. Oh my god, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna... Oh, it's a... It's a poogie. <laughs> that, nice, that's... Nice. <laughs> oh, we got, a, we got another chest. Okay, come on, what's it gonna... Uh, uh, another poogie, huh? <laughs> sweet, sweet. <laughs> Alright, guys, third chest, third chest. It, it's another another poogie well I mean at least everyone has a poogie now right <laughs> and I mean uh, that's cool oh no oh, oh no oh no is that a is that a poogie oh god not another one. Oh no not another one there's too many poogies huh <laughs> so many all I wanted was my mount but after every single run we would get poogie after poogie after poogie I would go online and read about these people talking on Reddit about how they would get the Rathos to drop three times in a row around their 30th run. We didn't get anything. All 40 runs and all we got were like 12 poogies. I had like a closet full of poogies. Too bad you can't take duplicates or else I would have just placed them around my house. But after persevering every minute through the poogies, at last, I'd finally get it. I would have 49 scales. And then I would get 50. And then I would have just enough to obtain my Rathalos. Just enough. And then.